Good evening, this is Edward with SonsOfGod.com. It's Sunday, February 7th, about 10.45 p.m. I want to take just a couple of moments to talk about something that we mentioned in a recent word called Walking in the Spirit. We basically said the more of a mystic you become, the more you're going to be susceptible to spirits that emanate from people, and this vitally affects your walk with God. We were talking about that in the context that we're rising and coming up higher and higher in our vibration and in our energy as God continues to bring us through the final stages of the work of the cross and the purging and the purifying of our hearts. One of the things that we experienced uh, the last couple of days that Anne and I wanted to share has to do with the issue of breaking bonds, which we've spoken about many times comes down to an experience Anne had recently in uh, working with uh, some individuals and uh, she found that it became very difficult to break the contact uh, with with the individual. Uh, Normally when people reach out uh, they do so out of their soul um, and there is a cord or a link that can be created even if it's not uh, much of a relationship, and invariably, even if you're in, you're in the workplace, jobs, whatever, what you have to do when you come home is usually just take a spiritual shower, wash off, break the contacts, break everything off the day, and get clear and get clean. That's pretty much just a normal, everyday situation. Uh, the difficulty that we, we find, of course, are the bonds that are uh, family or are born out of uh, deeper soul relationships that we have had. Those are issues that uh, the Lord is definitely uh, dealing with. But what I wanted to point out with in this specific situation, we've been watching, oh, I'd say for the last 10 or 12 years, what we would call like a tear in the veil that has been happening progressively. Uh, in essence, where the spirit world is coming closer to the vibration of the physical realm. Now, we've seen that with the interaction of the cloud of witnesses, especially over the last 10 years, and even with some of the elementals. But the vibrational level uh, most immediately above the human plane is the demonic level. And and that's why you'll find animals uh, whose vibration is just slightly higher than ours uh, can be very sensitive to demonic input. But what we have noticed, especially in the last 10 years, as I mentioned, is, is like a, a, a tear in the veil, where there is this uh, penetration of, um, of demonic activity on the natural plane far more than there was 20 or 30 years ago. We've talked about this, I believe, in recent words, and you could relegate it to the scripture in Revelations where it talks about Satan is cast down. So where is he cast down? He's cast down on the earth plane or this vibrational level. Now that doesn't happen overnight, but it has been a gradual uh, stage that has been set. So what we have found uh, as I said, over these last numbers of years, are there is a, a higher uh, level of what I would call demon possession than than we have noticed, but even more so, uh, a much uh, more prevalent level of what I would call entity attachment. And you can say, well, what is entity attachment? Basically, it's where you have spirits that can be demonic uh, or they can just be caught in between levels and they go and they attach back upon uh, people um, you know it kind of goes back to Christ and the demons and they, they couldn't stand to not be embodied so they went into the swine and went over the hill and, and were destroyed because there's this desire in the spirit realm uh, to have some level of embodiment But we have noticed more and more that uh, people are carrying around uh, entities with them. Very often, you know, Ann and I will look at someone and say, well, well, there's a couple on board with that one. So what we have found in the, with respect to the breaking of bonds is when you're in your workplace, when you're interacting with certain people that you have to do because of, of business requirements or whatever, invariably you'll come across those 
that'll just be very difficult to shake. It'll it'll take a little bit more effort. Uh, it might even take a day or two uh, to really just shake that contact, even though you yourself were not really trying to create a contact. And it's because of the entities that are attached to that individual. And that makes it a little bit of a different situation because you've got that spiritual energy that is emanating from them. Well, I think that's about all we have to say. I wanted to keep this short, but this is something for you to to give some more thought to and to study as you go through your day and your workplace. We bless you and, and we thank you. Amen.